than you And then we'll take it higher Hey! Is your neck gang sloppy? Neck so good like an ostrich we can't tie me Hey! I heard he nigga wanna What's up, my quesadillas? So I'm sure y'all have been wondering where I've been the past two weeks. Nah, bro, no one's noticed you're gone at all. I'm sure some people have. Have you missed me? I had no idea you were gone. Well, Chad definitely noticed I was gone. Who's Chad? I don't know Chad. You just said Chad. Oh, you mean Chad? Chad was my good homie since I surfed my first wave. He taught me how to bond with my board, clean up after, and take it for a walk. Todd, it's... Your name is Chad. Like, Chad with a no. No, it's with an A, but it's just got some more chalk kind of vibes. Like Chad, that's my name. All right, well, did you notice Kay was gone for two weeks? Yeah, I did. I swear you told me he was moving to Alabama with his cousin, but now that I think about it, perhaps I might have just been absolutely zooted. Bro, why'd you even come back? Because everyone was waiting for a new video. Not really. Okay, well, I just like making videos and I wanted to get back to it. You get what I'm saying? Nah. Do you catch my drift? Uh, I don't know. Do you feel my vibes? Maybe slightly. Are we surfing identical wavelengths right now? Oh, Toast McGee, my dude. <laughs> okay, whatever. Point is, I was gone, and the reason for that is a couple things. I realized the vlog I was editing wasn't that good, so I scrapped it. And then the footage for the next vlog got really dark halfway through because we ran into a Christian church group in the middle of the night, and then we played ball with them. And then while doing so, I accidentally pressed a button on my camera, which turned down the ISO for the rest of the vlog, and I didn't notice. What's up? What's up? Oh, yes. Hey! 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 But the main reason I was gone is because I was actually applying to college and I had my interview last week And I also just got the letter saying I didn't get in I've applied to five colleges at this point So I thought I'd get in at least one by now if you've been following me for a while now You know that college was never what I wanted to do My goal was just to grind out videos here in Japan and grow but my mom kept encouraging me to go to college So eventually I applied my mom helped me with every single application. So it sucks I let her down. They weren't really hard schools or anything, so I should have at least gotten one. Especially this last one, Lakeland University of Japan. The reason I found this school is because I went to the campus for Temple University of Japan. And when I went there, I showed them my report card and they were just kind of like, they told me to apply to Lakeland because you only need a 2.0 GPA to apply there. So I thought this was my chance to actually get into a university, but I guess Jaw had other plans for me. The interview for Lakeland was really annoying though because they only kept asking me questions about YouTube and then they denied me because apparently I'm too into YouTube. I'm sorry I'm too into my passion and job which puts food on my plate. Alright, let me read this letter for you guys. Dear Mr. Simmons, thanks for participating in an interview yesterday for admission into Lakeland University, Japan. Unfortunately, the interview did not go very well. You seem to be overly concerned about your YouTube creations and performance and not really very serious about pursuing an education really very serious i'm not smart but like i'm pretty sure that's wrong look at this not really very serious what kind of shit do you want me to not care about what i want to do in life like if it was something like video games or something you know just something for fun like drugs or something you know oh you're overly too into drugs that makes sense what do you mean i'm overly concerned about my youtube creations and performance of course i am like that's that's that's, that's what I do. And not really very serious about pursuing an education. I'm applying to your school. I'm applying to university where I, where, where I get an education. What kind of shit? The faculty committee members found your responses troubling. They received the impression you would not sufficiently focus on your education. So during the interview, I told them that originally I came to Japan to make YouTube videos. They asked if I'll still be making YouTube videos when I'm in college and you know, I said, yeah, of course. They asked how long it takes to make a video and I said, mm, I mean, like recording it, I don't know. If it's a vlog, then it'd be like, you know, all day, all night or whatever. But the editing process, I would say from just footage to upload i would say about 10 hours and then they said all right well how many videos will you make if you go to lakeland and i told them probably twice a week and then they told me well that's 20 hours and you need 40 hours for school that's 60 hours you can't do that which i mean technically i can why are you telling me what i can or can't do but i told them i mean well college is gonna be my priority so if i needed 
make less videos on make less videos i could do both like i bet you these interviewers don't ask other people this hobby or college what is it gonna be they're all just old ass people that just think youtube is like some fun i don't know they think i'm like they don't take it seriously like, they don't they don't know the work i put into it like if they were interviewing a soccer player they wouldn't be like oh how long are you gonna spend on soccer are you sure you're gonna study enough because you're gonna be playing too much soccer i don't know but i guess they received the impression that I wouldn't sufficiently focus on my education. The committee decided that you cannot be admitted for the fall semester as you need time to develop beyond your YouTube identity. You may reapply for the January term if you wish. We ask you in the meantime to become involved in activities that would take you out of your YouTube bubble, such as participating in volunteer work or taking on a part-time job. I have done volunteer work. I've had a part-time job. I even made a video about it. They never asked about that though. They just kept asking about YouTube the whole time. They could have simply just been like, do you do anything else besides YouTube? They could have just ask that and then I will have given them a laundry list of all the stuff I do. You could also read some books unconnected to the internet and present the book reports. I'm not even in your school yet and you want me to do a f book report? We hope you will take this opportunity to reflect on yourself and how other people view you. I'm a YouTuber. My job is literally thinking of how people view me. You mentioned that you had a Mr. Happy persona on YouTube. I told them about faking an accent for a whole year and happy school days and everything. You mentioned that you had a Mr. Happy persona on YouTube. The committee believe it might be helpful if you could transform that fictional version of yourself into your actual personality to change the way others perceive you. This is literally what happy school days was about. My experiences being this Japanese foreign person and how people treat me differently because of that. What you guys just said, I did that. That. that was happy school days. That's what I did sophomore year. This especially takes me off because they don't know the story. Faking a personality for a whole year f***s up your mental. I put on a mask when I went to school every day. I couldn't tell anyone the truth. I couldn't be real with anyone. And you're telling me, oh, you should fake that personality again. Maybe it'll be a better personality than you are right now. Fuck off. Y'all think you know shit, but you don't. We believe you have plenty of potential, but you need to exert more energy and time into tapping that potential. Please don't view this temporary rejection as a negative, but as an opportunity to improve your outlook and future potential. We are quite willing to review your application in a few months and if we observe a change in your outlook to consider admitting you to our program. What do you want me to change in my outlook? It seems like you guys are being short-sighted with me. Y'all think I'm some like naive hotshot YouTuber that thinks he's all that and like doesn't really work, doesn't do shit. Y'all are the ones that need to change your outlook on me. Good luck in your efforts to emerge as an inquisitive, information-seeking individual. Curious. You forgot the I there. That's two mistakes in the letter from the college with such a great outlook on life. Wow, what a great outlook. Good luck in your efforts to emerge as an inquisitive, information-seeking individual, curious about the world and the people in it. I told you guys too, I was a military child. I moved all around the world. I'm interested in people from all around the world. I love diversity. Variety is the spice of life. I told y'all this. It seems like everything I said just went in one year and out the other. What kind of shit? Please let us know what steps you plan to take to overcome your current myopic outlook. I don't even know what myopic means, but <laughs> fuck you. Good for you. You know big words like myopic, but y'all really don't know shit. Uh, that's the letter. I didn't even want to go to college at first, but as I kept applying to different colleges, I started to want to go more and more. And especially with this last one, Lakeland, I, I, I really wanted to go. I thought it'd give me more opportunities and I'd get smarter and know more big words like rumple stilt skin even though college would take time for me making videos i thought it would also make me more productive put me on a strict schedule and really just discipline me a little bit but i guess now i gotta do that on my own honestly since i graduated and came to japan i haven't been working as hard as i could yeah i work hard but there's a lot of little nooks and crannies in my day where i could be working but i've just been cruising there's times where i push myself and pull an all-nighter to edit a video so i'd be ready the next morning but for the most part i've just been straight coasting bro so yeah now with college out the way i guess i'm back on that youtube grind that's what i came here to do in the first place i'm gonna take all these rejections and use it as motivation to work harder i'm gonna switch things up a bit on the channel first off i'm gonna vlog less the past couple months the vlogs have been getting repetitive maybe i thought i was fine because i'd always have new material i'm talking about different things in every vlog but for the most part it's all 
always just me going out, hanging with friends, living the Tokyo nightlife, which my friends and the people who do watch fuck with a lot, but I feel like for the general YouTube audience, it's better to switch things up and do new things, basically. So I'm only gonna vlog when it's something important or interesting that you guys should know. Next, I'm gonna go back to my roots a little bit and do more sit down talk videos like stories or rants. And then I got a new series you guys will see very soon. If you like my vlogs right now, I'm sure you'll like this series. Someone's dead. I'm excited for the future and I can't wait to make y'all proud. Uh, I think that's all I gotta say. Sorry that this is more of an update video. I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on in my life. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like myopic outlooks. Cause that's what I got apparently. That sounds kind of late. That sounds like a superpower to be honest. I'm fucking myopic, bitch. Shall we? Oh, Toads McGee, my dude. <laughs>